guys, it's Marie Antoinette here for your Mental Health Monday and today I'm going to be talking about our feelings and how we process those and what happens when we don't process them effectively. So where do we learn um, about feelings from? We often learn about feelings from our childhood, from our parents. We don't learn uh, much about our feelings and emotions at school, that's certainly um, definitely the case um, so you know what we learn about emotions particularly isn't uh, very healthy a lot of the time so I want you to just think about some of these statements as I go through them so some of the things that we learn about feelings is basically not to feel them so you may have heard things like um, oh don't be sad or there's no need to be angry um, I don't know why you feel like that um, there, there, there might even be people that blatantly say get over it um, a lot of people can't tolerate other people feeling emotions because it makes them uncomfortable they struggle with it because they don't know what to say and they don't know what to do so often we push and suppress our own feelings down because it makes other people uncomfortable and we want to have harmonious relationships so a lot of the um, unspoken messages that we get growing up are things like, you know, uh, don't talk about your feelings, don't feel your feelings, uh, don't express your feelings because it makes other people uncomfortable. So what do we do with our emotions and, what, and, and you know, how are we supposed to deal with them? So one of the things uh, that I always say, and it's really simple, and that is, is that feelings are meant to be felt. And that's it. So sometimes uh, we can uh, spiral into different things uh, and that makes us very uncomfortable. And, you know, sometimes what we do with our feelings makes things worse. For example, if you have a bit of fear about something, and sometimes it could be a healthy fear, um, and then we add those thoughts that start with what if, or what if this happens, or what if I'm not liked because of this, or what if... And we start adding what if to a baseline fear it turns into anxiety if we have sadness that we're experiencing and we push that down um, or we start to feel guilty we can have anxiety with that as well or if we have sadness fueled with a whole bunch of negative thoughts about ourselves and um, blaming ourselves or not accepting our sadness that can turn into depression uh, there's other things like if we're feeling angry and we go into blame, then that can turn into resentment. So often what we need to do is really just acknowledge our feelings and allow them to be released or give ourselves that space. And I wanted to talk briefly about the difference between, <coughs> excuse me for a moment, the difference between uh, sitting with your feelings and sitting in your feelings. Because when we're sitting in our feelings, it can really, really overtake us and we feel really overwhelmed. So we can be sad about something. We can feel um, um, guilty about something. We can feel angry about something. But if we fuel that with all these other, other thoughts and all these things going on, then that's going to turn into something else. And we can sit in that and fester on that. And the difference with sitting with our feelings is basically acknowledging it and being able to empathize with ourselves. So being able to say to ourselves, look, it's okay. It's okay for me to feel this sadness. It's okay for me to feel this anger. It's okay for me to feel all of this. And we give ourselves that space. We can then be with our feelings, give ourselves some empathy about having those feelings. And usually those feelings can act, will actually dissipate quicker than they would if we're adding all those fuel filled thoughts or if we're adding um, you know more stuff on top of that so uh, we can't stop other people from wanting us you know if they're uncomfortable with us having feelings we can't really we're powerless over other people so we can't really get them to start accepting our feelings or getting angry with them about that but what we can do is have some empathy for ourselves, give our feelings the space that they need, acknowledge them um, and let them be felt and they will have their own path because emotions are energy and energy needs to flow. 
And when energy is stifled, that's when we get disorders and disease and all sorts of stuff in our body and we start to become really uncomfortable and the flow is not okay. So just reminding ourselves, you know, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to be angry, it's okay to have our feelings and constantly giving ourselves that recognition and that empathy for ourselves about just, you know, taking it easy. You know, it's often been said, we need to treat ourselves as our own best friend. And I often say, you know, we need to really acknowledge our inner, inner children within us. Like, um, And what I was saying earlier at the beginning of the video, if you missed it, is what we learn from our parents um, unwittingly, and they don't mean to sometimes, and they don't maybe not see the damage, is not to feel. So saying things like, there's no reason to cry, or, you know, it's not okay to be sad, or... Um, or, um, you know, you should really let that go or, um, you know, it's because they're uncomfortable with those feelings. So become comfortable with your own feelings, express them, give them space to breathe and that may be able to give you some peace and contentment. If you liked this video and you think it's going to benefit other people, please do share it. Uh, comment on it you can ask questions in the comments box I'm also going to post the link in the comments box uh, that's going to go to my YouTube channel which has all my other mental health Monday videos that you can watch for free um, and you can also like and share those as well and as always if you want to know anything about my programs or my uh, healing packages please private message me and I'll get back to you and have a happy Mental Health Monday. Bye.